Well, we got the CPM 4V6566 to chop a nail, and this is about the limit to geometry I found for cutting these steel nails. Now, the video I basically I talked about how well geometry is really the biggest, most significant factor, and that is true. But we also have to talk about how carbide volume does affect that issue as well, because when you start going up really high in carbide volume to stuff like CPM 10V rough ground. We've got CPM 15V, also rough ground. These are both about 64 HRC. The problem you run into with these is when you're sending energy through the blade, what happens is, is that stress basically connects the dots through the carbides and makes it easier for the blade to fracture. Now, the thing is, though, with normal use, with a knife this small, you're not actually putting energy like this with normal using unless you're a total dipshit. So, realistically... The advantage to these steels is that they have more strength, okay? They don't have as much toughness as this, but they're going to cut longer and they're going to be more wear resistant, okay? So, also, we've got a saber grind on here, and I didn't really touch about that at all and how that kind of affects it as well. Because we can have basically the same behind the edge thickness, but this primary grind bevel right here, this has an angle as well. So the angle that this is on, that's about 10 degrees per side to make a saber grind on a 100 thou blade like this. Because the stock thickness, you have to remember, that's 100 thousandths. These are similar in stock thickness. But with these right here for the full flat, we're about 5 degrees. So if I were to take this same blade, okay, and hold it at 5 degrees on the belt sander, that brings it up to here. All right, but I'm limited. I can't go 3 degrees per side because that would affect the stock thickness. Okay, so that's kind of how that works in a nutshell. So realistically, you know, things like Venetus 4 Extra and CPM 4V, that's kind of the limit to strength and toughness. Uh, but if you realize that, you know what, these are just little fucking knives and that you're not actually chopping fucking nails and stuff like that, then you can go with more strength and wear resistance that these types of steels offer. And they're not going to chip in use if you're using them properly, you know, so that's the idea. So I hope that kind of clarifies some things. There's always a million questions, you know. I'm sorry if I'm uh, not very patient with some of the questions. There's just some stuff that I feel like is pretty obvious, you know. Like, I get tired sometimes of explaining that water is wet and the sky is blue, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, take it easy.